Well, I'm not sure what happened exactly, but um, we had been home from the Sprint Center, from the basketball games, a friend and I, um, about 15 minutes. And he'd gone upstairs, he was our guest, had gone upstairs to go to bed. My husband, who had left after the KU game, was sound asleep in our bedroom. The dog was asleep. And so I was the last one up. We didn't smell any smoke when we got home. And um, it couldn't have been more than 15 minutes because all I did was lock up, check to see if I had any phone messages. And I walked back to our bedroom. I got ready for bed. I came back out to the dog's um, bed and um, to just tell him good night and see if he wanted to wake up and go back outside or whatever. He didn't. And as I did that, I saw a glow. We have skylights up above this great room in the center of the house. It's a two-story room. And I saw a glow that I knew didn't belong there. So I watched it for just a few seconds and determined I've never been around a fire before, ever. And so um, I determined that it was fire because it started moving and just I could see the glow jumping. And then I started hearing some popping. So I ran back to the bedroom. I woke up my husband. I called 911. I got our guest da alerted that, and just within two minutes, the our smoke alarm was going off. The fire alarm was going off, and then um, the alarm company called. And so my husband and my friend backed our cars out. We got the dog in the car. I grabbed my cell phone and my purse, and we vacated the house. And it wasn't two or three or four more minutes and the first fire truck was here. They called in one alarm, then they called in two, and then called in three. And they worked pretty much all night. Okay. I have no idea how it started, but it was fast. I mean, by the time we did all this, which took five or six or seven minutes, um, the great room was pretty full of smoke and chunks were starting to fall out of the ceiling down onto the carpet and the sofa and stuff like that. Just that we're okay and um, I mean my phone's been ringing off the hook and lots of text messages and people have just been wonderful offering food and clothes and places to stay and so we just need to kind of think it through and get over the shock and and regroup and decide what to do next. But. Life goes on and we're all okay and we're thankful for that. And